5 raised to power s squared divided by 25 raised to power s is equal to 125. What is the value of s? Hi everyone, welcome to my class. In this class, we quickly want to find the value of s from this given equation. 5 raised to power s squared divided by 25 raised to power s is equal to 125. But before we proceed, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Solution. have the given equation 5 raised to power l square divided by 25 raised to power s this is equal to 125 then let's cross multiply we have 5 raised to power l square is equal to 25 raised to power s multiplied by 125 now this is 5 raised to power l square is equal to 25 is 5 square raised to power x multiplied by 125 is 5 raised to power 3 now remember this rule that if you have a raised to power n raised to power m is equal to a raised to power n m then this equation become 5 raised to power s square is equal to 5 raised to power 2s multiplied by 5 raised to power 3. Also remember this rule that if you have a raised to power n multiplied by a raised to power m, this is equal to a raised to power n plus m. Then we have 5 raised to power s square is equal to, this is 2s, 5 raised to power 2s multiplied by 5 raised to power 3, 5 raised to power 2s plus 3. Now they have the same base 5, we work with the exponent, which is s square is equal to 2s plus 3. Now let's equate everything to 0. That is s square minus 2s minus 3 is equal to 0. This is a quadratic equation which can be solved using factorization method or quadratic general formula. But in this case, let's make use of factorization method. So let's substitute. We have s square minus 3s plus s minus 3 is equal to 0. Now, s into s minus 3 plus 1 into s minus 3 is equal to 0. We have s here and 1 here, s minus 3 here and s minus 3 here. This is s minus 3 multiplied by s plus 1 is equal to 0. Then we have two cases here. s minus 3 is equal to 0 and here s plus 1 is equal to 0. Now from this case, s is equal to 3. That is the value of s. And from here, s is equal to minus 1. Therefore, our final answers are s is equal to minus 1 and 3. That is our final answer. If you enjoyed the class, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.